Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x plus 1 to the power 4 plus x plus 5 to the power 4 this is equal to 32 so what is the value of x now let's provide a solution from here now the first thing to do here we can express x plus 1 this is the same thing as x plus 3 subtract 2 raised to the power of 4 then plus x plus 5, this can be expressed as x plus 3 plus 2 raised to the power of 4, this is equal to 32. Now we have x plus 3 here and x plus 3 here. So we can let x plus 3 be equal to u. Let's substitute u where we have x plus 3 so that we have u subtract 2 raised to the power of 4 then plus this is u plus 2 raised to the power of 4 this is equal to 32 the next step from here we can express u minus 2 to the power of 4 as u minus 2 raised to the power of 2 then raised to the power of 2 here then plus u plus 2 raised to the power of 2 then raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 32. Now, u minus 2 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared, then minus 2ab. And we have that u plus 2 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a plus b, raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So let's apply these two algebraic identities so that now here we have u squared plus 4, then subtract 4u, everything here raised to the power of 2. Then we have plus u squared plus 4, then sub, that is plus 4u, everything here, raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 32. Now, the next step, we have that u squared plus 4 here, and we have u squared plus 4 here, we have 4u and 4u here. So we can let u squared plus 4 b equal to m and we can let for u be equal to n so let's substitute m and n in this equation here so that we have m minus n raised to the power of 2 then plus m plus n raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 32 The next step is let's expand this equation here so that we have m to the power of 2 plus n to the power of 2 subtract 2 multiplied by m n then plus let's expand also here this is m to the power of 2 plus n to the power of 2 then plus 2 multiplied by m n this is equal to 30 so here we have minus 2m plus 2m so this means that here we simplify here so that now we have m squared plus m squared this is 2m squared then plus n squared plus n squared this is 2n to the power of 2 this is equal to 32 now, since 2 is common here, we can factor out 2 so that we have m squared plus n squared. This is equal to 32. Now, let's divide both signs by 2 so that now here we have m squared plus n squared. This is equal to 32 divided by 2. This is equal to 16. 
Now, but if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let u to the power of 2 plus 4 be equal to m. And we are saying that let 4 u be equal to n. So let's substitute u squared plus 4 here. We have u squared plus 4 raised to the power of 2, then plus n, which is 4u raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 16. So now let's expand this here. We have u to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2, then plus 4 squared, which is equal to 16, then plus 2 times u squared times 4, then plus, here we have 4 u squared, this is equal to 16, u squared, this is equal to 16. So 16 and 16 here simplifies, so that now we have u squared raised to the power of 2, then plus, this is 4 times 2 u squared, this is 8 u to the power of 2, then plus 16 u to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. So this is u to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2, then plus 8 u squared plus 16 u squared, this is 24 u to the power of 2, then this is equal to 0. So we have that u to the power of 2 is common here. We can factor out u to the power of 2 into the parentheses. This is u to the power of 2 plus 24. This is equal to 0. So we have what two parts here. We have u to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. And we have that u to the power of 2 plus 24. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, if we get the square root on both sides, this is square root of 0, then we, this means that u, that is u1, is equal to 0. u1 is equal to 0. And if you recall, if you recall again, we are saying that let x plus 3 be equal to u. So that now, since u is 0, so this is x plus 3, this is equal to 0. So that now, x1 will be equal to minus 3. So this is the first value of x, which is minus 3. This is our u solution. The second part here, we have u squared. Let's take plus 24 on the right-hand side. So this is equal to minus 20. So, to solve for u here, let's get the square root on both sides. This is the square root of u squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 24. Now, we can eliminate the square root sign here, so that now u is equal to plus or minus. This is the square root of 24, which is the square root of 6 times 4 times minus 1. Now we have that u is equal to plus or minus the square root of 6 times 4 times minus 1. And this implies that this is plus or minus the square root of 4, this is 2. Square root of minus 1, this is the same thing as i. So we have plus or minus 2i square root of 6. And then if you recall again, we have that x plus 3, this is equal to u. So we have x plus 3. This is equal to plus or minus 2i square root of 6. So let's take plus 3 on the right hand side so that now x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus 2i square root of 6. So this implies that x2 is equal to minus 3 
plus 2i square root of 6. And we have that x3 is equal to minus 3 minus 2i square root of 6. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. And we find that we only have one real solution here. It is x1, which is minus 3. This is the only real solution that we have. So the next step is to verify. Let's verify that this real solution here satisfies the equation. And if you recall, if you recall, we have that x plus 1 raised to the power of 4, then plus x plus 5 raised to the power of 4, this should give us a value of 32. So this means that x is minus 3 plus 1 raised to the power of 4, then plus minus 3 plus 5 raised to the power of 4 this is supposed to give us a value of 32 <coughs> so minus 3 plus 1 this is minus 2 raised to the power of 4 then plus minus 3 plus 5 this is 2 raised to the power of 4 this is supposed to give us a value of 32 minus 2 to the power of 4 this is 16 plus 2 to the power of 4, this is 16, and this should give us a value of 32. 16 plus 16, this is 32, which is equal to 32. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this verifies that x1, which is the only real solution here, satisfies the equation. So we have got three solutions to this algebra problem, one real solution and two complex solutions. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.